What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. If you've been watching the Shorts Happy Holiday series, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys for clicking on the videos. This will be my fourth and final review from this 18 pack guys. So again, I've gone through Ho Ho Hop It, Double Freedom of 78, Slurma Claws, and last but not least, I'm gonna do Raisin Apollo today. So this was an original beer, I think, that was a slightly different recipe. Uh, this will be the first time I've had it. So they did not label it as new, but I have never had this one, guys, and I think many of you have not either. Um, I believe I've reviewed Yoda's Blend and Juicy Tree um, somewhere else on this channel, so if you wanna look for those reviews, feel free, I think I've done it, before, maybe years prior. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about Raisin Apollo. This is a triple India Pale Ale fermented with golden raisins. Very interesting. Not sure how I feel about this going in, but this is uh, someone who works at Shorts made the label. He's kind of that statue, the Apollo statue. I think his name's Kurt. So very cool to uh, integrate him onto the can art. Uh, let's see here. We have a canned on date of 10 6 22. So this is the um, second beer that's been different than the rest. There was two that were 10 4, there was one that was 10 11, and then now this one is 10 6. Uh, today is November 1st, time of recording. So uh, I had to look it up. This is 9.9% .9 alcohol. So pretty big beer. Um, I really like the Double Freedom though. That one was 11.2. So. Um, we're going to put this down with relative ease, but um, it, it's an interesting label and description, guys. So I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I do have my shorts glass one last time. Let's go to a pour. It's kind of dirty, though. Should have washed that out a little bit better. So as we're pouring, it's orange, it's honey-ish, it's golden raisin, that kind of color. It looks very hazy to start. Um... Get that out of here. I feel like I've been having trouble focusing on some of my uh, videos here. So um, yeah, it looks like a West Coast IPA. I mean, for sure, it looks like a stone beer. It looks like a shorts beer. It looks a lot like Freedom, um, but it's got an orangey kind of slight amber, copper, deep orange, if you will, with a off-white, very, very, very creamy head sitting on top. Finger and a half, two fingers worth. Sliding down the glass pretty good, but very nice head retention. And again, I can't explain to you guys how fluffy and foamy this, this head is sitting on top of this absolute beaut. Looks like a gorgeous West Coast beer. A little bit darker on camera, as usual. Let's go to an aroma. I'm interested on in this one. <clears throat> I just smell like sweet mandarin oranges a little bit of maltiness malty complex but it's pretty bright actually a lot of these beers have been bright from shorts this one is no different it's not double dry hopped i wouldn't say but definitely vibrant and bright kind of grassy herbal a little bit of floral mixture but wow this this nice like honey orange marmalade spread um very citrus forward but again i think like clementine oranges um that kind of like whole deal through the middle there, it's very uh, apparent through the beer here. And again, a little bit of like malty kind of uh, pininess to this beer as well. So let's dive in guys, it's Raisin Apollo. Four for four, let's see what we got, cheers. Okay. Golden Raisins not really standing out to me so much. It's got like a, <clears throat> honey orange kind of complex through the middle again the orange is still there it's more on the front and then you're hit with like a, a solid dose of maltiness um a little bit of biscuity caramel malt honey i keep saying and then bitter um slight pininess on the back end that lingers quite a while on my first sip there guys it actually reminds me a lot of hop slam uh, on my very first sip here and I actually did not think it would do this, but it's reminding me of Hopsland, which I had recently. So you can check out that review as well. Um, I'm gonna go on one more sip. Let's see what we got. Booziness showing itself a little bit. Um, there is, again, I get this honey kind of caramel, slight biscuity maltiness through the middle. Definitely malty. Maltiest beer I've had this far in the pack. Um, but that orange, kind of grapefruit, fig kind of spread through the middle, uh, more on the front end. And then again, drying, slight floral, earthy, 
piney bitterness on the back end that lingers for quite a while, guys. It hangs on for, for a very long time, but it is considered a triple IPA. So um, fitting that it would be, but it's very West Coasty. It's quite malty. Uh, and again, very reminiscent to me, uh, maybe with slightly less honey sweetness through the middle like hop slam so if that gives you any idea that's what i'm relating this to so i'm gonna do a, a last sip here and, and and gather my thoughts i'll tell you guys final thoughts here yeah malty it it, it tastes like michigan sourced ingredients like some of the hops were sourced in michigan um they don't pop as much it's maltier it's biscuity it's it's um just a little bit like muddy or earthy through the middle is how I explain a lot of like Michigan hops. They're not my favorite hops actually, but uh, this one's still good. I would say this one's probably my least favorite of the whole mix, uh, but those raisins really not flexing on this beer in my opinion. Again, I think it's just like the malt bill and, and caramel kind of maltiness is overtaken by any uh, golden raisin sweetness that I thought would be there. But if I could, I could mistake it for kind of like this honey factor is why I keep going back to this is a lot like Hop Slam with a little bit less sweetness, less honey, uh, less grapefruit. So that that is uh, orange and uh, caramel malt through the middle, in my opinion, on this beer, guys. So gathering everything together as a rating, how do I like it? It's a good West Coast beer, super tasty. Uh, not not very complex, but still pretty drinkable at 9.9. .9. Um, uh, it, it just doesn't blow me away. It's it's just good. Um, so I'm gonna go with a 3.89 out of five guys, my lowest rating in the bunch, but don't be mistaken, this was a great pack. I highly recommend you guys get these. If you watch my reviews, I hope they were helpful uh, in your decision making for what you're going to get, but I'm just one man. Who doesn't know Jack Squad on the internet? So guys, make your own decisions. But it's been another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. Thank you guys for being here. I'm Dan. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.